Here's a command set that has three receivers on the uh, command set rack and uh, somebody has built an AC power supply here that uh, powers one of these at a time so what you do to change receivers is simply pull the um, power supply out and plug it into the uh, desired receiver. So let's see, this one is for the uh, AM broadcast band. It covers uh, you know, 0.5 to uh, 1.6, uh, yeah, 1.6 megahertz. And uh, there's your volume control. It's got an extra jack somebody put on here, and I think that's for a low level audio output to be uh, fed into an amplifier. Uh, there's a wire here that uh, connects all three antenna inputs together, and I've got a wire antenna here connected uh, in a ground. So, to use the AM broadcast band uh, receiver, I've had to plug my uh, speaker into the right hand jack here and flip the switch over in this direction to the right and this acts like a an antenna peaking control here both of them trying to bounce back off a disappointing loss and from the tutorial perspective looking to have their best performance since Syracuse Mac so there's the AM uh, broadcast receiver uh, I'm going to now um, move the power supply over to the uh, 80 meter uh, receiver okay we've got the 80 meter receiver hooked up now Some radio here came out to 75 meter AM and for this receiver I have found that we need to be plugged into the left hand speaker jack over here and the switch flipped to the left and that uh, connects this one up again it's got a volume control and then went to University and uh, had a great computer a PDP 10 that peaking uh, control is very uh, effective Seems to work quite well. First, an open fire on two Palestinian miners, killing one and injuring the other. The Palestinian news agency, Ma'an, says that Israeli troops targeted two Palestinian youths who reportedly attempted to throw Molotov. All right, so now next we're going to do the uh, 40 meter uh, receiver. All right, we're on the uh, 40 meter receiver. The other two are AM and this one's uh, set up with a BFO turned on and it must be an internal thing, but uh, does a very good job receiving CW. Uh, I can tell you that I actually, for general purposes, prefer 
Earth to use this station with a hex beam at 46 um, uh, feet. And now, of course, I'll put 1.5 uh, uh, kW uh, on it uh, on, on the hex beam because the SWR is one to one. But it's a very nice beam. It weighs 20 pounds. I put it on a Luma tower, which weighs 100 pounds. So, okay, there you go. Now, this rack um, is a model uh, MT-65 ARC-5 and it's labeled at 28 volts uh, DC for the uh, dynamotors. And um, again, as you can see, there's one AC power supply that you have to move between the uh, the units. So I doubt if it would be big enough to power all three of them at once. But that could be taken care of. Got an off on switch here. Which, uh, yeah, there it goes. It's, uh, I'm not sure if it's doing anything. It doesn't feel too good. So I would say that probably needs to be uh, repaired. Um, so there you go. Um, this, uh, by the way, this receiver here is labeled um, BC455-B. So that about wraps it up. Thanks for watching.